So if, if we're given the acceleration equation and I want the particle, how many times do we have to anti-drive? Twice. Twice. So let's write out some information given to us. They gave us um, the position, velocity, and acceleration. Acceleration is given to us by um, A of T. I don't even know why I have that. I'm just going to draw the arrow. A of T is equal to 12T. And it says at time zero, at zero, what was a particle? Particle is at five and velocity is at two. And that's given to us so we can find the C value. So let's anti-derive the acceleration to get the velocity. Plug in zero and two to find the C and anti-derive again. So we have V of T is equal to, let's write the understood one. So we have on this one, 12 T squared, one more, divided by two plus C. And then we're going to plug in, this is my x, that's my y. So we have 2 is equal to 6 um, times 0 squared plus c. So that means our c has to be how many? 2. two? So then I'm going to write out v of t is equal to 6t squared plus 2. And we're almost there to the um, particle. Let's go ahead and anti-derive again. For the acceleration, or not acceleration, for the particle, what is one more of this power? Three. three. Divided by um, three plus two T plus C. And now let's plug in our P is equal to when X equals zero and Y equals five. So we have five is equal to, I'm gonna go ahead and um, simplify this. We have three times zero cubed <coughs> plus two times zero plus C. So who is our C value? C is equal to five. So then if I were to rewrite the particular um, particle, that's going to give us 3t, no, not 3, 2, right? 2t two cubed plus 2t, and our c value is 5, which makes it which letter? Boom, done. Now let's go to number, was it 24? 24. Okay, 24 has to do with this um, fundamental theorem of calculus, and as a reminder, let me flip to it first. 24. Oh. Has to do with this right here. They both mean the same thing, okay? Because if I integrate this, we get the big F. If I integrate this, we get the F, okay? So for this one, am I looking at the first equation or second equation? If I were to match it. This looks like the second one, yes? So let's mimic what's happening here. Um, so we have integral of that is equal to, we have f of 12 minus f of zero. And all we have to do is look at the graph. When I look at the graph at 12, at 12, what is my value of f? So negative four minus when f of zero, zero, What's the value? Four. four. So negative four minus four is how many? Negative eight. Negative eight. Done. 